car started its life as a swift, American-built Formula Nippon car. Uh, they ran a V8 Honda or Toyota engine, but, you know, a pretty highly stressed engine. Chris's whole philosophy is to have something that's cheap to run, that sounds good and is spectacular for the fans to watch and for the drivers to drive. The engine that's using a, a Coyote Ford Mustang engine, so they've been prepared by Roger Higgins uh, in Queensland. The gearbox is a Hollinger gearbox. It's based on one of their standard transverse gearboxes, but Hollinger's have redesigned the front half of the gearbox and designed all of the bell housing module and everything for the car, so they've been fantastic in the way they've been involved in the project. GT have been involved from the start. They were really happy to get involved in the program. The, they've built the rear tyres especially for us. The front tyres are off another class that they're building tyres for, but they've, they've developed the rear tyre especially for what Chris wanted, which was a great big rear tyre. It's a bit over three metre length wheelbase, so it's quite a big car. It's you know, nearly the same size as an Indy car. With the Coyote engine, the car's reasonably heavy, um, but it, you know, we've got nearly 600 horsepower to make up for the extra weight that the engine's carrying. Hollingers have sort of worked with, with Roger Higgins and ourselves to come up with a, a little subframe over the top of the engine to take a bit of the load out of the, the engine part of it. So in standard format, the cars have all been crash tested, the frontal crash tested, their rear crash tested, it has side impact structures, it has a collapsible steering column, uh, it has a removable seat in case the driver's injured in an accident, so, and, uh, and the headrest area and everything, so it's, it is a lot safer than a original Formula 5000. could have built it a lot quicker than the lap times it will produce, but that's not what Chris wanted. The original car from Swift had a lot more downforce on it, so we, it was a full ground effect car. We've cut the tunnels back about 50% because Chris didn't want a car that was going to be hard to race. He wanted a car that was spectacular to drive. People could pass easily in them, so you know, ultimately it's not going to be as fast a car in lap time wise, but it's going to be fast enough and spectacular for the fans to watch.